Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I want to go back to Azure Policy and I want to show you how you can audit for a particular software that is installed in one of the VMs that you are running on Azure. Okay, a lot of times you have some requirements that you have to have certain agents running and you need to create a policy to audit for those VMs and make sure the agents are actually installed. So what I'll do, I'll show you the implementation and how I did it. So again, you go to Azure policy and just search for policy here and select the policy plate and I'm just going to show you the assignment first and show you how I have been implemented my policy. So if I go to the pol assignment one, if you see here a whole bunch of policies in there, there is one policy right there that says audit windows machines on which the specified services are not installed and running. So this is the policy that you want if you want to look for a software and also look for if the software is actually in a running mode. Like if the software is installed but it's not running, this policy will fail. So, so there's another policy that audit Windows machines that don't have the specified application installed. So if you use this one instead, it will only look for whether a particular software or application is installed but it will not look for a running state of a particular service. So look at this one first. So this policy, if I look at that one, and all I want to know is look at the compliance state of this particular policy that I have already configured and applied. And let's see if I have any compliant or non-compliant machines. And look at that, I have one Windows machine that I created, the Win test, and it's compliant. And if you have any non-compliance, they're gonna show up in here, okay? And you can click uh, look at the edit assignment and that will tell you what am I auditing for. So here if you look at the parameters, so I have specified Microsoft monitoring agent. So that is what I want to make sure that I have available in every virtual machine that I have in my Azure environment and that must be running. Now here if you want to add some other agents or services, say you have Symantec, okay, uh, things like that. If you have a long list, you can Add this list. This list it support even wildcards. And if you click on that, it says semicolon separated list of the names of the services that should be installed and running. Like they have some given WinRM, then WI star. So you can come up your own list and use this policy to monitor for that one. Now, one thing that I want I would like to mention to make this policy work you have to have another policy that has to be there and that would be your guest configuration okay so let's see if i just do guest configuration so you you see i have three other policies that are for the guest configuration that you're gonna have available to the system so one of the policies that you're gonna need is deploy the windows guest configuration extension to enable guest configuration assignment on on windows virtual machine now if you have linux you gotta have the similar policy for the linux as well on the top of it you need two other policies you need to have these two policies one add system assign manage identity to enable guest configuration assignment on virtual machines with no identities and you would also like to have this policy add system assign manage identity to enable guest configuration assignments on vms with a user assigned identity so the order of assignment is you assign these policies first and make sure these policies are not giving you any any compliance issues so now it's compliant now you deploy the policy that is actually going and auditing for the software that is installed and the services that are running you have some success so if you don't have this what will happen the other policy that will say hey your uh, windows guest configuration is not installed and configured so you cannot do anything all right now so i have already showed you how to implement that one so let's show you how to, how you 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 find all of that stuff so let me just make a copy of this real quick and put it in maybe a notepad or something okay notepad let's put it down there so these are the things that you need let me just get rid of this and get rid of this so these are the policies that we need and uh, let's come back to this uh, assignments one more time and let's see uh, the two other policies that you can use in this in this particular uh, to complete the uh, make sure that i have it right 
so double enter so this is one of the policies and the other one is the application that is installed so let's now walk you through how you how you do that so you come back say i'm just assuming you don't have anything assigned okay so you will come down to the policy you will go to the definition blade on the definition blade all of the policies that we are working with today they will show up under the guest configuration so you click on that one deselect all and do a guest config so guest configuration you select those and it will only give you the guest configuration policies and there's a lot in there that you can use to configure and, and secure your environment the one that we need is a system assigned so i'll just search for add system assigned in here and look at that i have those two policies available to me so what you would do you would click on this policy and uh, once you click on this policy you will click on assign and then you will go after the subscription where you want to assign if you have a multiple subscription go up to the top root management group and when once this uh, blade that shows up you just select the subscription if you want to apply to a particular resource group you can do that as well and select that one and all you do is um, this is since I'm going to remove this I'm going to say remove and then I'm going to say uh, review and create so that will create that particular policy for me okay uh, another thing that you want to do okay here uh, let's see come back over here and uh, the other one that we also want to assign so we'll come back there click on assign you can do the same thing uh, go back there and this time I was just adding to the particular resource group to select and again assignment i'm going to say remove because this is what i'm going to remove in the future and do okay the other thing that that you you if you want you can do is if you don't have uh, for the existing resources if you don't have a manage identity so you can also go there and configure your remediation task when you're assigning okay so you just click on uh, create a remediation task and it will take care of the rest of the things that it needs to do so and then hit create it is now creating the policy so i have created one policy where we didn't do the remediation task i have shown you this policy where we did use the remediation task okay so the last policy that you need is this deploy the windows guest again i'm going to copy this one come back over here get rid of this and say this and we found the policy that we need again I'm gonna, now uh, i'm going to do the same exercise i'm going to go select the subscription that i need and then this time I'm going to go up with the resource group. Again, I'm going to call it remove because that is what I'm going to do later. And uh, review and create again remediation. Let's enable remediation on this one as well. So if I have installed uh, and deploy some virtual machine where I don't have this available case configuration, it will enable that one and remediate. Okay. Uh, so I have no problem. Uh, review and create and create. And it's asking for some parameters here the scope so you make sure that you you're selecting the scope and then review and create and uh, it should not have any problem creating the policy so now i have all the policies that i need to be able to successfully uh, look inside the virtual machine so we are not done yet right so we have uh, configured the pre-configure the pre-requirements to do our auditing so the next thing that we will do we'll go back and look for this two policies so come back over here and i'll show you install uh, like the how to do one of them and maybe you can do the other one okay and i'm gonna give this so if you do and search for that audit windows machine that have on which the dsc configuration is not complete we, we, we don't want that one we want one well let's just copy a little bit long or we can copy the whole thing if we like so let's just do this and here we go here is the software here's the policy that we need and this policy if you look it's it says the windows audit windows machine on which the specified services are not installed and running and this is what you need to audit any service okay so all you need to do here again let, let's do assign select the scope one more time says your and then my test group and select that one and then again i'm just gonna call it uh, remove and hit test and over here parameter here i, I can assign whatever I want I know that Microsoft monitoring agent is something I always like to see in my virtual, virtual machines but I, if I have something like uh, uh, 
uh, syslog okay something like that uh, any service that i have created uh, maybe https or iis whatever service name you can come up with uh, you can put all of them here and uh, again it supports wildcards so if you know that there's a service maybe a whole bunch of them running so you can also configure it that way and just uh, do review and create and now you have all the policies that you want that will give you uh, what you really need so now from the definition we have completed all the assignments now you can go back to the assignments and see uh, if the policies are assigned properly if you go down there so these are the policies that we added remote and then I just added all policies with the remove at the end okay and it's also showing the scope is to that particular resource group only okay so now you can click on any of these policies it takes some time for the policy to kick in for its and you can just go to for its uh, policy compliance check so now you go to the like view compliance and it will tell you what is going on most likely it will say hey this policy has not been evaluated or evaluation has not yet started something like that that's okay just give it a little bit of time maybe an hour or so usually all policy compliance will be done at least once in every 24 hours in azure environment so come back in a little bit usually i give an hour or two and come back and, and see the compliance state and it usually works just fine yeah as i said this one says compliance state it's not started if you look at this one it will say a newly assigned policy has a not started state refresh the view to see the latest evaluation results if you are saying not started for existing assignment ensure that you have the microsoft policy insights are the permissions if not register register the microsoft policy rp so that you, probably this is enabled by default you don't have to do it but uh, if you don't see anything coming up in more than 24 hours definitely uh, look that up and make sure that you have that particular service enabled for your for your azure subscription all right let me just go back in here so again you can go again to look the compliance you just go and click on the view compliance and that is where you're going to see the compliance and i have already shown you how it would look when it it is actually compliance is done because i have already implemented this policy you know uh, a long time back so if i go there and here if i view my compliance here is my report i have one test machine and that is completely compliant and i have the microsoft monitoring agent properly installed okay hopefully this video is useful to you if you like the video please give me a like subscribe for more videos like that if you have any comments please uh, uh, you know comment it out and if you don't like please leave a comment about how i can improve these videos for you thank you for watching